All right, so your printer can spit parts out. Cool. Seriously, rocks. Now what? I've posted my print shift video series on turning your Prusa Mini or Mini Plus into an auto ejecting machine, so you can print over and over again. We'll link those below. You can use the last few to install OctaPrint on your PowerBelt 3D Zero, CR30, your printer belt, or any other 3D printer. But if you install it on an auto ejecting machine, this video is talking about that. When you have automatic ejection, OctaPrint will let you start prints from anywhere because your printer will automatically clear the bed. You just have to wait for it to be done, log into your printer, click the button, start your print. This video will demonstrate some OctoPrint plugins that will make that a little easier so that you can do multiple prints at once and also look at some cloud services where instead of logging in from your home, you can log in from anywhere and even queue up prints so that your machines can divvy them up all by themselves. So, local solutions. Got Octoprint running here. This is on uh, printer Frankenfurter. Picture. Plugin I've got installed on him is continuous print. So he's actually already printed one of these finned outlet ducts. He's printing one more after it's done. So it's pretty easy to drag and add if I wanted to put more random parts in there. And it's going to stick and automatically queue up the rest of the prints. Easy enough to do locally. Also has a nice loop feature. The interface is pretty clunky in that you can't change how these are sorted. And it's pretty rough to reorder. Plus, it doesn't support saving your queue. The editing of the queue sometimes works, but a lot of times it seems like it stops right after you've printed the start button, which is now turned to already printing, which is nice so you can't restart the loop. But my original machine, don't have anybody printing here because he's sitting next to me and the noise gets irritating on the video. But and he's got the 2020 dumpster bar. I just put that on the bed. I wasn't lying, it really is. You know. See? You can actually see, uh, uh, if you look back there, where's my finger? That is Frankenfurter. <laughs> Normally I close the door to keep the noise down. Not today. So this is another OctoPrint plugin, the Print Queue, which is nice because you can throw up and add more of your files. But what I really like about it is the ability to save the script. It also lets you put in a bed clearing script. That's useful if you don't want to use the G code to eject the part at the end, if you have a separate function or it's built into your OctoPrint or something. Kind of a nice feature. This guy is not available in the plugin repository. You have to install it from um, install it from GitHub, which is easy enough. No problems. I'll put all links for all these in the below. So with these, you can do multiple prints. And you notice my printers are not secure. I have them only stuck in on the local network. I know you can put OptiPrint and expose it to the outside world, do your own dynamic DNS, but there's a lot of stuff and a lot of security to keep up to date on that. Not something I want to worry about, so what about cloud services? There are quite a few services that provide OctoPrint plugins that let you monitor and control your print from anywhere in the internet securely. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, just I've used uh, I used to use the Polar Cloud quite a lot. Managing a print farm when you're managing multiple printers it makes even more sense to use the cloud service. The two I wanted to talk about are AutoDrop 3D and the Spaghetti Detective, which is what I'm running now. Spaghetti Detective. Oops. Okay, I went down. Let me pause and see if we can get the picture back there. Let me just, this guy. There we go. So Spaghetti Detective is an automatic print monitoring service. Now it is not free. They do have a free tier that I think gets you 20 hours a month. But it is open source, so you can download their server and install it on any local machine and run it on your own system. And that'll run on as many printers as you want. Granted, I hadn't started a print on this. It was 
using it as a heater for making cookies later. Wow. 294. But basically, it will monitor your print and keep an eye on anything that looks fishy. I have a local instance watching my continuous belt machines. It's capable of intervening to stop and cancel the print if it looks like something's come detached. So Autodop 3D is, I'm not sure if it's quite beta, but it's an online service to manage your print farm. Right now, I've turned Frankenfurter off because he's printing other things, as well as Immortan. Dr. Roxo is this guy on his camera, too. So, a Castle machine. We have the AutoDrop 3D plugin. One thing with the plugin, you need to move to Python 3. It's a simple script that's already in Octopi. Just have to now do a login via SSH and run it. Not going to go in through the setup of this guy, but it's a little intense in that you have to set your location, your machine, your profiles, but it is providing a complete package of you take your STL file, feed it to the service, it will decide what printer to print it on, slice it for that printer, and then start the job. It can be turned on and off, so I can click on or off my machine, so that I can make sure that prints won't be sent to the printer when I'm not watching it. Turn back on so we can see. For your dashboard, you have your parts, devices, users. I'm only set it up for me. Profiles. They do have a like where you can rent your printer out to other people and actually have folks pay to print on your machines. I have not explored that. But I just wanted to throw up a bit of the queue, so I do need another one of these. Making a little The splash. What is the splash for? It fits your echo dot. So now you can. Oh, uh, cool. But once you got that guy, you can create the order in my house. I'm only going to print one of those. Prove it. Are you sure? Excellent. But I need a couple of these as well without support material. don't like that we don't see the g-code before. It's using a Cura in the background where you have to set up your own profiles. Um, and the profile will be chosen from whatever material you set. So you can set up printers with different materials like that. So download the STL. It does actually have CAD built in as well. I'm not going to explore that now. This was just grabbed from Thingiverse. I want to make some rockets, but I do want three of these. And you see these are pending in proposal once I approve them. Alright. Go to the print queue and see that this job is already on the machine. So all I did was tell it to start the job before I uploaded the STL. I just haven't played with the cat enough to do the full shebanger. And you see this is zero dollar print. You can get a snapshot of the machine. Does not update terribly often. Saving on. But the machine has already started to print. They're automatically generated file name. It's very informative. But it does create its own folder. You can see all the previous prints it's done. Which is a little weird, but you still have things like the G code viewer. That works just fine. Let's octoprint. So from there I can see how we're doing. This is actually predates the print shift. I would did costal ejecting machines first, but you can't get costals anymore. It's well at least not decent ones. But you know. Hope just to show something useful. I use the auto drop a lot when I'm at my office. So I'm going to see something on Thingiverse, want it to print, log in, fire it up. I generally use the continuous print when I'm sitting at home and when I want a lot of something. So like, I had a job where I was making 200 of these guys. 
And so when you're making 200 something, you don't want to use a generic slicing profile. You want to make sure that it's exact, you know, dialed in. So you know, five of them, not an inch. But then I'll set that up at home, upload my G code, make darn sure it's the right thing, and then say, give me 200 of them. But it's also nice, like, I was doing some prototyping. These are all subtly different little trellises. And with the auto drop, you can just say, we'll fire it up, print it. Oh, not quite right. Print it again. Oh, not quite right. Print it again. These are more hydroponic parts. But yeah. Doing that from remote, I like having this Bodega Detective plugin installed so it can email me if something starts to look off on the print. The other nice thing about it is AutoDrop doesn't have a direct interface to your printer. I can cancel individual jobs, but I can't actually turn off. Well, uh, you might be able to. Possibly, I just don't know how. But the Spaghetti Detective will let you automatically stop jobs on the machine, cancel it, and you can actually tunnel through to your actual Octoprint, so you can turn off the AutoDrop plugin if that machine has an issue with the bed or you know, one of the arms in your delta falls off. That totally never happens. Things happen. It is automatically printing. And we can watch it go. The fun part is, as soon as this job is completed, it'll be spat out, and these guys will start running. <laughs>